So Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson is out here explaining as to why he's not going to give the money back that Lil Durk gave to his campaign after Lil Durk was arrested and charged with, I think, solicitation of murder due to, I thought it was text message, but someone told me it was a cat in this organization had a wire on. But anyway, forget Lil Durk. Let's talk about Brandon Johnson. You know, I don't know all the circumstances and details around, um, you know, these accusations. What I do know, though, is is that um, Lil Durk's um, mission to um, build financial literacy for children across the city and making other critical investments uh, for the for the for the children of the city. You know, I am not an advocate <clears throat> for drug dealers. Okay. I'm 47 years old now. I will say, just in case somebody ever try to come out and say, but Marlon, you remember? No, I know. Yes. We're talking about years ago, certain things I may or may not have been involved in in my life. Never talk about it. Never discuss it. Because, right, because you move forward, you move on, you learn, you know, and you do better. And I've <clears throat> never been the one to try to say, hey, I did this or I did that. So you shouldn't have to do that. It's I mean, it's a it's a it's a darn if you do, darn if you don't situation in life. Because if you don't say nothing about your past, but you try to teach people, some people will say, Well, man, you never did this, you never did that, so you don't so how would you know? But then if you do talk about your past, then people say, how are you going to tell me what to do? And you did it, so why I can't do it? So it's basically like, hey, I'm just going to give you instructions on what you should do, what you should not do, how, how it's going to work out for you. And you go with it, whether you whether whether you try to explain or try to come up with reasons of why you should do it. That's on you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're a human just like I'm, I'm a human. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to go through things just like I went through things. I mean, it is, it, I mean, it is what it is. But... When I say I'm not an advocate of drug dealing, it's because a lot of times I get a lot of praise for, I don't know, for doing things that makes no sense. You People advocate for somebody who mm-hmm. sold poison in the community and yet give out turkeys, give out shoes, backpacks, free haircuts for little kids while yet you live in a life of crime. Of you live in your for ninety something percent of your life is based on destruction of your own community. It's one thing now if you did that, got the money, got out. Like I said, still not advocating for it, but got out, got out totally, and use your money to build up the community like for real, like actually create uh, uh, centers and, and schools or buying computers and stuff for the youngsters to use so they can learn like engineering, computer and, and, and software engineering, you know, uh, things like that. Teach them how to read, how to do math, learn the history, open up like little schools or little grocery stores or something like that. I can understand that. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's one thing. But because we talk about the white folks and how they, you know, what was it? Uh, pre- uh, prohibition with the alcohol. You can say what John F. Kennedy family did or the Rockefeller family did and how they did this, that, and third and led to destruction of other people and this and stuff. But yet they used that to create something positive for their families so their families didn't have to do that. So their communities didn't have to do that. They try to build these communities and teach others how to do the right thing, not sit here and go out here and advocate that, hey, I am a game banker. I am a drug dealer. You know, I have deleted a lot of my people and rapping about it and singing about it and promoting it, but not promoting it, but talking about it on a daily basis like it's the cool thing. But I'm going to do something for the kids. It don't work that way. It don't work that way. You can't be on a fence on things like that. So if Lil Durk is out here, cause I know I saw a video, I think that he was the one that had like a trucking company saying he make a lot of money doing that. 
And like he said, and like Brandon Johnson said, he's doing things to invest in a kid, in the children's children of, of the city. But yet you're part of a gang, a destructive gang who have saw lives being taken on both sides, on your side and the op side. And yet now you're arrested for trying to orchestrate a hit on one of your ops because one of your buddies got deleted by one, you know, got, got deleted by one of his family members or whatever, by his, by his crew. So instead of saying, hey, I'm denouncing all this, I'm backing away from it. And this is like having just a couple of years ago. So you were, you've been popular and been making music for years before that. Why not get out the game once you start making money? And I go back to Le- LeBron James. LeBron James, you know, played basketball, nothing, not, not saying he's a game member or, or a killer, nothing like that. But LeBron James was coming up playing basketball instead of having his homeboys just hang on him and leech off of him. LeBron James sends his people to school or help his people go to school so they can learn business, so they can help him, you know, manage his career so that he can make millions and they can make millions legitimately instead of going to hire some stranger. That's what I'm talking about when you build up the com- building up community, how or how you're supposed to do it, and not steadily promoting negativity in your music in the way you move around. But yet saying you're doing something for the community. And this dude here on TV is just a clown. Just want y'all to know. Um, is where his heart, you know, has been. And I mean, there's no secret to um, the trauma that he grew up in. So you're going to blame the trauma that he grew up in? So, and Lil Durk is 30 something years old. 30 something years old. It's amazing. Andre 3000 say there shouldn't nobody be rapping in their 30s and 40s. Man, he's been saying that. What you got to do still out here in these streets in, they, in, your, in the 30s? That's some kids do, man. That's some kids do who don't know no better. You're trying to find themselves and they get older and wiser. Man, you got money. You got connections. Dude, you getting keys to the city and you still doing ratchet stuff. But he grew up in trauma. Okay, I understand. So what he should be doing is doing, like I said, doing what you say he's doing, getting away from this ratchet music and just promoting stuff to help the kids. And how he has worked to turn that trauma um, into opportunities um, for other for other people, but kids look up to him for his music, not for that other stuff that you're talking about. That's what you got to understand. Music is powerful. Music is hypnotic. Music will make you things do things that you probably wouldn't know normally do, or probably give you courage to do things that you thought about doing, but finally said, "I'm gonna go ahead and do it." You were given uh, about a month after uh, taking office one hundred fifty thousand dollars campaign donation from him. Do you feel like you should donate that to charity or uh, do something with that money? Is it tainted? Well, I mean, you know, look, um, you know, I don't operate in feelings. Here's the thing: before you get into your answer, Brandon Johnson, you live in Chicago. I live in Texas. I've heard. I don't know little Dirk from the man on the moon, but we have all heard of the things that he has been involved in, in his life, the gang culture, the deletion culture, the drug culture. We've all heard this from people closest to him, even in his music. So for you to take $150,000 from someone like that tells me a lot about you. Because as a politician, someone that the kids should be looking up to, maybe even other adults can look up to, that shows a lot to me, shows a lot about your character or that or lack thereof. There's no way in the world where you should, that you should have took money from Lil Dirk. I don't give a dog on what he's doing to the community. He's doing things with the community? Great. Use that $150,000 to continue to promote what you're doing. But we, in the mayor's office, we can't be associated with you or your money because we know your history and we know your present. It's simple as that. You know, I operate in truth and justice. And again, I don't know all the circumstances around um, these accusations, but again, what I- But you know the accusations of his life. So it don't matter about these circumstances. You, you should never put yourself in a position in the first place. I do know for sure is that you know, here's um, another example of a young black man 
who grew up in severe trauma. Man, don't make this don't make this about race. Trauma that led to life choices that he has been very open and vocal about um, healing from those choices. That's why. How's he healing? Is he denouncing it? Has he, did I miss something? Maybe I missed something. Maybe y'all could tell me in the comment. Has he denounced the gang life and the deletion life? And if he had, he's a hypocrite. He's a hypocrite. Because of what he did, what he's been, what he's been accused of, you know, he's not guilty. Can't find him guilty in the, what's that, in the court of public opinion. Must be found guilty in the court of law, I guess. But the evidence is there. And dude, you the mayor, so you can find out whatever the hell the district attorney or whoever else is trying to prosecute that man. You can find out whatever they whatever they know. He's been committed um, to finding um, his righteous path, uh, seeking out you know truth and justice through his faith, while also investing in behavior and mental health support uh, for individuals. Look, our the, what will you pay? What will you do with the money? Was as I. That was a that, that was a question of Kamala Harris Jr. What will you do with the money? Not about that boy's life. Said, um, right now we have allegations, right, that he has not been tried. And and I, look, I understand the question. I don't. I don't want you to think that I don't understand the question. You're, you're, saying, okay to keep the money you're, you're asking me a question about someone who has worked to transform his life. Um, who has admitted um, that he is on a journey to transformation and has not been charged with anything. Well, he's been what, charged what, with I'm sorry, has not been convicted of anything. And so if you're asking me if I should make a judgment on a black man before a full trial has actually come to fruition, I hope you do understand why. How about just making a judgment on a man, period? Um as Tupac said, time comes with change, and change comes with time. I'm not going to say Little Dirk may not be trying to transform his life, but you have to pay for your transgressions. That's something that's been told, that's in the scriptures, and something that is, has been told to us our whole life. And when you're in that street game, it's hard to get out. You, you, you don't decide when you get out circumstances decide when you get out now your partner what was that rapper name i can't think of his name but okay he got taken out and so you vow revenge usually the hardest the hardest decision to make is the right decision when uh Lil Vaughn, what's that? King Vaughn, I think is his name. They say King Vaughn was a demon like a sun gun, but when your partner gets taken out, there should have been a click in your mind to say, you know what? I'm done with it. No matter what your homeboy said, you could have showed leadership. I'm talking a little dirk, could have showed leadership and said, Hey, I'm done with all this. We make it, we're making money. I'm making moves. I'm trying to teach the kids different. The best way for me to show these children how to live is to not retaliate in a negative way. The best thing for me to do is walk away. Everybody knows how I am. Everybody knows me. In the streets know me. Everybody knows if I'm a coward, not a coward. Know I'm about that life. Know at any moment I've shown, you know, I, I've made my, you know what I'm saying? What's I made my bones about, you know, everything. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm solid. But it comes a time in life where we got to make changes, positive changes, and to actually show these children how it's supposed to be. And who knows how they may look at you? It is what I mean. They look at you like you're a chump or whatever. Just let, I mean, hey, their opinions don't matter because you know, you know yourself. So their opinions don't matter. So. Like I said, that street in, my, in that street life, the best thing Lil Dirt could have done is just say, hey, we're not going to retaliate. What we'll do is, I mean, we'll let the law handle it. We'll let the law take care of it. You know what I'm saying? We'll let the prosecutor let them go to jail, and we move on, and we move about this lifestyle because we got to do better for our 
children and our people. And it starts now, not after I retaliate, because when you retaliate, guess what? The person you retaliate against, gonna, his people going to say, you know what? We're going to take out a little dirt and his people, and then we'll stop. Because you know why you can't do that? Because the people that you retaliate against, you know what they're going to say? Okay, we're going to retaliate. And then once we retaliate, then we'll stop. And, but then you know what the people going to say? You, you get where I'm going with this. It doesn't stop after the act. It stops before. It is not my position to to determine the outcome of someone's life. What? The, what? Hold on. Let, let me, let me, let me run just a little bit. Just a little bit. And has not been charged with anything. Well, he's been what, charged what, with I'm sorry, has not been convicted of anything. And so if you're asking me if I should make a judgment on a black man before a full trial has actually come to fruition, I hope you do understand why it is not my position to to determine the outcome of someone's life they didn't ask you to determine the outcome of someone's life he asked you what are you going to do with the money are you going to give it to charity or are you going to give it back what are you going to do with the money and and you did not even address the money all you talked about was Lil Dirk and his life and the trauma he went through, and you're not going to judge this man. Ooh, I feel for Chicago because y'all got three more years of this guy. Three more years of this guy who can't have, who don't have an answer for anything, no real solutions for his people. The only solutions he have are for the migrants in his city, the illegal migrants in the city, and that is it. But anyway. Chicago, sure, that's your mayor. Hope y'all happy. But anyway, tell me what you think about this story. Leave your comments below to share with the world. Let's have an intelligent conversation. You know how we do around here. With that being said, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Those four things cost you nothing more than maybe a couple of minutes out your day, but that it means the world to us. If you would like to support us monetarily, you can get super thanks, super chats, or go to the description below description box below there are links there you can click on you can support us there don't forget to go to marlamorale.com that's marlamorale.com where you get 10 percent off your first purchase but if you want to be a part of our sale on our mini beer kits hit the shop button below this video mini beer kits normally 25 dollars click on the shop button you'll see the discounted price it's from sand, made out of sandalwood oil, the beard balm, and the, and the uh, wash sandalwood oil, which is clinically proven to help stimulate hair follicle growth. So what better way to get that beard started or to get that beard filled out than by the use of the natural ingredient sandalwood? Again, click on the shop button below and take a part, take advantage of our deal. And with that being said, I leave you in peace. And I'll see you on the other side.